We all recall learning just a bit in school about the Greek philosophers, Socrates, Aristotle, and Plato. But did you know that to some degree, each of these men had expressed specific understandings of life and the afterlife? Although Aristotle's views were primarily religious in nature, Socrates and Plato shared a broader understanding of what happens to us after the death of the physical body with Plato greatly expanding on the topics of afterlife, soul, and immortality. Plato viewed life and death as a perpetuating cycle. He maintained that the soul is eternal, that it came before an incarnation into a physical body, and that it will continue on throughout eternity. Plato believed that only the physical body ever actually dies and is discarded. He regarded the body as merely a housing for the true essence of an individual. In fact, he viewed our earthly time as one of the briefest experiences of the soul, and not necessarily a period during which great wisdom or truths were revealed. He proposed that, upon expiration of the physical body, the soul returned to the realm of forms. This was perhaps one of Plato's most influential concepts. He postulated that this physical world in which we exist for a brief time is not real in the sense that it is only available to us through the physical senses. He maintained that the realm of forms is the timeless, eternal space where the true, non-physical essence of all exists and that those same objects and ideas in this physical world are merely imitations created by us as they are fleeting and do not exist in an unchangeable form. Plato's concept of the afterlife was in stark opposition to the current views of his time because he viewed the experiences after physical death as the true existence, a happier part of our journey that was full of opportunities to learn and advance. Philosophy of the time, although partially accepting of the existence of an afterlife, focused mainly on the eternity of royalty and providing luxurious comfort for kings and other nobles, which can still be seen today when viewing the elaborate tombs and statues erected to honor them. Plato's views were more inclusive of all individuals, although his focus still tended to favor the wealthy. He believed that the afterlife was nothing like the grim, half-life reality that religion tended to perpetuate at the time. He felt that life after physical death was actually the greatest opportunity for our soul, our true nature, to experience knowledge and worldliness that this physical existence could not afford. His concept of dualism, the belief that the soul exists independently of the physical body, challenged not only the Greek philosophy of his time, but also emerging Christian doctrine. In fact, even his student, Aristotle, had a much more materialist view of the body and soul as inseparable entities and that the soul of an individual died with the body. Plato's view of the soul as a separate part of an individual, perhaps the most important part, due to its immortality, lends itself to concepts such as morality and self-development, since the idea that, upon physical death, we cease to exist was not in line with Plato's views, and that our soul carries with it the knowledge, truth, and memories created in the physical realm, how we behave and what we do with our time in the physical world matters. This concept is a fundamental basis for many spiritual practices today, for which we can thank, at least in part, the Greek philosopher, Plato.